right, in this video, I'll be going over how to export a graph from our studio and then put it into Microsoft Word. And I'll also be going over how you would actually write an APA style graph. Now, let's pretend that we have this assignment that we have to turn in that requires that we create a histogram or some other type of graph. We write up the code, we get that histogram all set up, ready to go. It's right down here. It looks awesome. Okay. Now, how do we actually get it out of R and into Word? Now, whichever route you take, it starts with pressing the export button. Now, from this, you will actually have a drop down menu come up and you need to select which option you want. You can save it as an image, you can save it as a PDF, or you can just copy this image to the clipboard. Now, each of these have different pros and cons, but for something as simple as, say, a lab report in a class, you can probably just copy to the clipboard, and that's what we're going to do here. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to open up a window, and it's going to ask you to specify the aspect ratio. You can do this by typing in specific numbers here or by clicking and dragging right here. Once you have it how you want it, you need to come over here and click Copy Plot. Now it's actually on your clipboard such that you can just paste it into your document. So here, let's imagine I'm working on that lab report. I can just right click, paste the picture, and now I have it in here. Now one tip is when you come over here to Layout Options, you're going to want it in line with text. If you do it square or tight or through or in front of text, oftentimes it just kind of creates some problems. Uh, top and bottom sometimes works pretty well though, but I tend to like in line with the text. And then I will center it and hit enter. Now, APA style figure captions. It needs to be below the figure. It needs to be sequentially numbered and the figure number and then a period needs to be in italics. So let's say this was the first figure of our lab report. It would be figure one, period. Take the italics off. And then some type of description of what is in the figure. Now, for just a simple histogram, it's fairly easy. Histogram of temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Now, perhaps this came from a specific experiment or it was for a specific group of people. You could then add that information here if you wanted to as well. But in terms of the dirt simple basics, that's how you get a figure out of our studio. That's how you get it into a Word document and get it set up in APA style. And then you're ready to continue typing your lab report on the next line. Um, or if it's in the appendix, put in the next figure. Hope this was helpful. Have a good one.